Howdy, this is the old gunsmith. Uh, just uh, we're starting a series here on uh, the tools you will need to get started on working on your guns or gunsmithing in general. We'll go over some general uh, tools, some thoughts, some ideas, some considerations that you should have when you're uh, picking your tools or making your bench. And uh, there'll be a series of them. So I hope you enjoy them and let's get started. The next tool we want to talk about is the file. Uh, you will use a lot of files. You'll be doing a lot of filing on parts. You'll be doing a lot of filing, making parts, uh, repairing parts, it, adjusting fit. But a file is, is as important to a gunsmith as a uh, good screwdriver set. Uh, there are several types of files that you may or may not be aware of. Generally, what you find when you walk into the hardware store is a mill file. Mill file is tapered. It's got a straight section here and then it tapers. Now both sides of this have teeth. Okay, so it will cut on, if you're cutting on a 90 degree angle, it's going to cut on the sides as well as on the top of whatever you are filing. So that's something to keep in consideration. My favorite to work with is what's called a hand file. Now, you don't find hand files every place. You generally have to go to a gunsmith's uh, uh, supply house to, to get a hand file. The hand file is square, you know, so it does not taper as it get, goes to the tip. So it's got a very uh, s parallel uh, uh, profile. The other thing to, on it is that one side has teeth and the other side is smooth is, or safe. So that if you're cutting and you want to not move this over, you can just turn the safe side there and you can continue cutting down without also cutting sideways. So you have an option. You can cut with the side of it or you can keep it safe to where it doesn't cut. The half round file uh, doesn't have a lot of uh, uses, but sometimes if you're working in a curve, you don't have too much choice. It's much better to go with a, uh, a half round and be able to get into the, those areas that a flat file will not get you into. Uh, then there is also a parallel uh, file, which is uh, safe on both sides in this case. Uh, it's a smaller file, but it's also useful in, when you're working in, in certain areas. If you try and fit the file to the uh, work, the other thing I can't live without, personally, are needle files. These small little needle files. Uh, I use these constantly. This set is about flat wore out. And I've got a replacement set here from uh, Germany. I haven't got handles on them yet. And you do want to put handles on them because that holding that thing and driving it into the side of your hand gets old real fast. But again, you'll find that sometimes when you're working in tight areas, you need a small file to be able to do your final fitting. Obviously, none of these files is going to, going to help you do that at all. So needle files are also a good investment for the beginning gunsmith. Now, we talk about files, and everyone thinks they know how to file, but most people really don't. Most people will grab a file and come up to the work and they'll do this as the misuse of a file. What you're doing is on the backstroke, each of the teeth on the file, every tooth has got a cutting edge that is basically like a burr. And that is the only part that actually cuts the metal. So by pulling it back, you're taking that burr and you're working it back and forth until it breaks off. Once it breaks off, you have a dull file. So the proper way to use a file is to always file one direction. And as you file, you will find that the file will probably pick up pieces of metal that begin to scratch the surface. For that, you use a file card to clean those surfaces out. There's also a way that it doesn't make a lot of sense, and you'll probably think I'm crazy when I tell you about this, because when I first heard it, I thought they, the person telling me was crazy. 
and I found out he wasn't. But let me get a, a little start here. And this is a good piece of metal. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't want to pin. It doesn't want to force little bits of metal into the... Here we go. There's some in there now where it starts grabbing the, uh, the metal and wedging it into the uh, cutting edge. And then it starts scratching the surface. And while it's pinned in there, I'm sure you can't necessarily see that, but there's little pieces of metal pinned in there that the file card takes out. So you're not scratching the surface every time you, you take a stroke. The other way to avoid that is chalk. You chalk your file. This may be something, unless you've been around the industry a while, you've never heard of. And as I said, the first time I heard it, I thought the guy was nuts. I was putting something as soft as chalk in the teeth of my file going to stop a piece of metal from wedging in there. I mean it's a small piece of metal, it's sharp, it's like a um, sliver that you chalk your file and it cuts smooth as glass and it doesn't pin. It doesn't pick up those, those little pieces of metal. I don't know why it works. I can't, I can't explain it to you. I can only tell you that it works. It'll last a little bit longer. You'll still have to clean your file occasionally. Go back in, re-chalk your file. And in this case, I'm just using regular blackboard chalk. And nothing, nothing secret. Nothing that you have to uh, necessarily go out to uh, a specialty place to, to buy. But... And if, if uh, my cameraman here can get a, uh, a shot, of the edge here where I've been filing, because this is what was cut with a hacksaw, but the edge here, well, let's just do it this way. If you'll notice the edge here, it's just, it's smooth, and it doesn't have any grooves in it. It's just leaving a very pretty edge on it. Okay, it, that will help you. You can see what we started with with the striations here that were in there because of the hacksaw. And we're starting to flatten this now. As you can see, it's, it's not flat. And the filing I was doing there was starting to bring this down to flatten it. And that's one of those things you hate to talk about. But the truth of the matter is, you only get good with a file by using a file a lot. And, uh, you know, one of... Some of the old gunsmithing schools, the way they, they taught you to file was they gave you a piece of metal and say, make a square out of it. Keep the, the, all the angles at 90 degrees. Don't, you know, do, do this, but continue cutting on it until you get a smooth surface with 90 degrees on all sides. Make a square, make a cube out of a piece of metal. And you can spend days <laughs> doing that. Uh, even if you have quite a bit of experience with files. But uh, nonetheless, what you want to do when you're in gun work, if you're filing something to fit, you want to really try and keep it all square so it fits together nicely, so it doesn't uh, have a gap, or so it doesn't tilt. You want a 90 degree angles, and that you can only do that through practice. So we talked about different types of files, hand files and mill files, and the way they cut is, you know, basically the same. It, it's the shape that is going to help you to do a job or get in an area you need to get into in order to cut what you need cut and fit the parts together right up to the smallest parts. So you pick your file based on your job. Okay, one, more one more thing about files. Don't take your files and throw them in a drawer to where they clash with each other. They are extremely hard. And what you're doing is, is by doing that, you're either breaking that little burr off the teeth, but you're wearing your files out a lot faster than you need to. Files should always either be put in a sleeve that protects the teeth from, of both files from each other, or, as I do over here, I hang them on a rack where it keeps the teeth from touching each other. A rather important 
thing when it comes to keeping your files from, from wearing out. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you've liked what you've just seen, we're going to be doing some more of them. We'll cover a lot of the basic tools uh, to get started. Uh, just stay tuned. Watch the uh, Alpha Charlie Papa channel, and we'll have some more ideas for you. <laughs> for now, happy trails. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.